how to create a circular halftone effect in Photoshop. Use CC 220, 219, 218, etc. Set the colors to black and white. They don't have to be, it could be green, blue, but I'm gonna go with black and white. Go to the filter menu, filter gallery, and then to the sketch category, and half tone pattern. Modify the size, make it thick or thin. You can also modify the contrast. I'm gonna set it to the max. As I want a circular design, I'm gonna go for circle type. You could of course use line or dot, up to you. You could of course run it a couple of times and combine them, line, type and circle. With your black and white design, go to the select menu. And color range. And give it default fuzziness and just select black or select white. And then click OK. The white's now selected. Of course, if you clicked the black, all the black will be selected. So now you've got your selection. Well, you can fill that selection. You could fill it via the edit menu and fill. Maybe use patterns. You can also use the gradient tool. Go over to the gradient tool and tools panel. And then just apply a gradient. You could, of course, go to the brush tools and apply brush strokes to that selection. You can always undo via the history panel. I want to convert that selection into a path and then ultimately a custom shape. I want the pass panel, so go to the window menu and pass. With the panel open, go to the right side menu and select the make work path command. Go with the default setting and click OK. You could, of course, before you do that, we could do that, define it as a custom shape and then go back and invert the selection via the select menu and then do the other, the black design as a custom shape as well. So edit menu and define custom shape. So that's stored as a custom shape, but you could have both. You don't have to just have that, the white shape. So that's now stored as a preset. And I'm just gonna go back, back to the start, just the original image, and then go to the custom shape tool. Now I can set the color. I can also set it to be pixels, or I could, in this case, I've got it as shape. Select that custom shape. Just going to go slightly out so you can see it a bit better. And then you can drag across with that design. Now at the moment it's obviously set to white, so the custom shape that's created is white. But you can change the colour. You can also, because it's a layer, you can move it around. You can also resize it. You can rotate it. You can distort it. You can warp it etc. via the transform commands. And you see you've got your design there. And it's a layer, so you go to the layers panel and you can see that. You can double click on that entry there and you can change colour. So instead of white, you can turn it into maybe red. And you can hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate that design. Or maybe apply the custom shape multiple times. Up to you. You can create multiple copies. Double click again on the entry in the layers and then change the colour. And again, you can do that again. You can just hold down the Alt or Option key and drag. 
go to the layers again and double click and change color maybe to blue this time. It's quite a fairly abstract design just out of a single custom shape, single photo. And of course, they're still flexible. You can still modify them, still distort them. You can still move them. You can delete them as well. I'll quickly delete those. You can reposition the layer as you wish. Or simply delete all the layers. I'm applying the design as a shape layer. But you can also apply it as pixels. Personally, I find the shape layers much, much more flexible. But you might find the pixel option is better. If you want to change the color of the shape layer, what you can do is go to the fill at the top and click on that and then go through all of the swatches and change the color. But you can also go to the gradient, so you can just change it into a gradient. Of course, you can modify the gradient, you can change the gradient, you can change it from radial to linear, etc. You can also select the pattern and add the design there, leaves, etc. So all kinds of weird and wonderful designs can be added to your photo via the vector halftone effect. And of course, what you can do, because it's a layer, you can use go over to the layers panel and you can also use blending modes as well. So if you want to turn it into difference, you can also go to layer effects via the layer menu and layer styles, add a bevel, add a shadow. And of course, what you can do you can go to the effects menu, the filters, and then convert to a smart object. And then you can apply the halftone effect to the halftone. Once you're happy with everything, click OK or just cancel it. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator and many others. Please add a comment or two, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.